hello there friends to tutorial souls it's well that been a very long time I just couldn't play yesterday but <coughs> right now we're on the way to the depths hurry however this is a very short video I will just push it to get a little bit of I don't think I need any souls. Let me think. Ah, yeah. We need to talk to these people as well. Mm. These are very. You, you look. Times are grim, don't you? You might scare her off for good. Shut up. You. Anyway, let's go on. Oh yes, of course, I might actually want to do a little bit of... Um, soul hunting, because these are not that great. I completely forgot why I wanted to do... Uh, Some jolly co op, but now I remember. And it's actually very useful to have some jolly co op going uh, because I want to buy some spells, upgrade my pyromancy flame, stuff like that. And trust me, upgrade the pyromancy flame is going to be really useful. We first just kill these three. I will quickly actually go uh, to Andre because I also picked up um, the large ember. And with the large ember, and if you have large titan in charge, you can upgrade your weapons to plus 10. Which is not what I'm going to do. But you can. Yeah, sure. That's it. We don't need to uh, do anything else. Not at this moment, anyway. I might actually have a little bit more luck this time around to get a uh, co op going because it's a uh, weekend. And, well, as usual with video games, there you are know, more people online in the weekends. That one is shining over there. I'm going to uh, eliminate the all the knights and the hollows. I need a lot of souls for this. Uh, I could try uh, running Copper Demon instead, but it's already crowded enough in there. Look 
at that, I'm being summoned. Hmm. That's going to be fun. Ah, also a sun bro. That's interesting. Oh, it's not a sun bro. It's a naked guy with a swyhander. With a really weird name. I'll just take point. At least you don't lose any souls for that, but I feel kind of like a pleb. <coughs> I'll try once more, maybe he'll go back. really need some uh, magic for the next part. Partly for what I intend to do. I'll place it over here. Scythe. This time I'm going to do it a little bit different. Let's fuck that guy. Relax a little bit. Oh, he 
he's freeing, um, or she is freeing uh, Lothric. Not sure if they're going to kill Lothric. Apparently not. run I can actually upgrade my uh, pyromancy flame a little bit. Or get some magic, it doesn't matter that much. I'll probably get some magic because uh, that will really help at the next part. Sun, bro. Well, you can, but it's I'd say it's a waste not to go without some, bro. We just move ahead a little bit. Oh, we know this fight. Yes, uh, he will not sell you. It will keep going until you say, uh, yeah, okay, I don't mind. That's a pity. I can't get Fire Orb. Fire Orb is really good. I can get another Fireball, but... Goodbye, then. You I'll just buy uh, one of the spells. Oh, hello. Well, used to myself. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see. I can get Soul Arrow and Great Soul Arrow. Looks actually really good. Alright. That may we need to get Let me uh go here. Prepare my things. Attune my magic. I can only get one of them. I'll take the great 
right, Solero. There's a lot of new friends in the asylum. A lot of new friends, actually. And 
that's exactly why we're heading here. There's a bonfire and a oh, nothing required repair. That's good. Meet our first buddy, a black knight. It's a longsword black knight, so he is relatively easy to parry. And he's probably the easiest to kill. Once you see him heave back like that, the moment he goes forward, just... Uh, oh, I missed it. You cannot parry the shield as far as I know. Just parry that first swing. It's very easy. And you can just repeat stab him. Of course, if you have magic, you can just magic him down. Be careful for that shield swipe, by the way. Because those are brutal. They just empty your stamina gauge in one go. Goodbye. For your effort you'll get a red tide and a chunk. And sometimes you drop something else, but this time he didn't, because he's a dick. That's a first. I did get some damage here, a special shield. Souls going into um, the pyromancy upgrades. Pyromancy in the depths is really great um, because a lot of enemies in the depths have a significant weakness of fire. And this is why you should not fan troll. <laughs> Kind of a dick. Yeah. There we go. Backstop. Why can't I lock on? There we go. Sorry, Oscar. And he drops a crush shield. Uh, the crush shield is kind of similar. Oh, careful for the rock, by the way. Crush shield is similar to the Kakadius round shield in that it has amazing magic resist. It has the highest magic resist in the game, but it's slightly heavier than the heater shield. That said, for some bosses, uh, that shield is top notch. Get over here. Come on. Get over here. I've hit the right angle for the back stab. Hollow Soldier Shield. Huh. If you don't get a heater shield, the Hollow Soldier Shields are a really good alternative. I'll show you in a second why. That's why you need the key that I picked up from the roof. It will lead you to 
this ring. If there's water, uh, you can uh, normally you can slow down, not with this ring. Anyway, a little shield. As you see, it's slightly heavier. It has one higher point of stability. Um, that's it, really. It's not as good as the heater shield. Stupid, isn't it? Um, it's really stupid how stupid good the heater shield is. <laughs> But yeah, uh, that is almost everything you've uh, you've come here for. That's two items out of four. Let's repair because. Oh. Let's climb down. Always go here first, otherwise it will not end pretty. There's another uh, long short black knight. And just like the first one, this is really easy to parry. I don't think he has any nuts left, man. Oh, he does something else now. Interesting. And that's another dead knight. I got the black knight sword, which I will never use. Interesting. This is the third item. This allows access to the painted world of Ariamis. The painted world is seen in on Norlondo and you once you get in you cannot get out until you, you complete it. It's also the place where you can get some really nifty items, including an item that we're after with this specific build. And um, it is having the absolute best Uh, point to farm souls in the game, barring co-op. There we go. Ah, not worth it. One moment, I get uh, a message here. the actual pain in the ass part. Yeah, he died. Be careful, because the floor will get away, and that is immediately in your face. And that is just pure bad luck on my head. I had no way to dodge that. Even dodging backwards would have hit me. I had no 
actual point to move around there. Ah, once more. Luck is not with me today. How did that hit me? I was behind him. Okay, one more. You definitely want to kill these guys. Um, because otherwise they will jump in after you. Now you have to fight them and the stray demon. Yes, a stray demon can hurt them. Um, ah, shit. I need to go down as well. There we go. Stay behind it whenever you can. And if you get in this position, you're...
keep this up and it'll go down. It's just, yeah. <laughs> I've got to upgrade my uh, thing so I could get more spells on me. That's bad luck. <laughs> Hit him under the hitbox twice. For the butt stomp. And that's it. It is a very annoying fight. You cannot co op in this. <laughs> and that is your reward. The Titanite Slap and the fourth part. Do you think we'd, why you you'd come here? And that's the bonus: twenty thousand souls. Make sure that your back is against the wall. Me. How did that rubbish get there? Why do I have two rubbish? That's a weird glitch. Anyway, you, you can also drop the rubbish there. Every item can only be dropped once per game. Robert gives you a titan a chunk. Those are really useful. Humanity and twin humanities give ring of sacrifice and um, special ring of sacrifice respectively. Both kind of suck. Drop one prism stone. And just keep doing this. It's boring, I know, but you get so many good items from this. Demon Titanite. Let's see, fire bombs don't do anything, but the moss clumps do. They gave you Twinkling Titanite, if I recall. 
And you can never go wrong with Twink and Titanite. You give give me. Yeah, that's two Twink and Titanites. For something that costs uh, a thousand souls, you can bu later buy Twink and Titanite. Those are 8,000 also pop, so that is a really big profit right there. Twinkle Titanite is a great way to sink souls into an object because there are so many things that require Twinkle Titanite. <coughs> it's kind of weird. Hmm. It's logging quite a bit now. Stay in offline mode. Okay, not sure what the hell happened there. Another twinkle tight tonight. Oh, by the way, Mars doesn't do anything, and if you drop something they do not want, you get this no, message. No. That no warm, that no soft. Okay. Oh, screw you then. Oh there, I just did something stupid. <laughs> I pressed, uh, yeah, that was my bad. I exited the menu, but instead of, you know, actually uh, going out of the menu like a normal person, I actually jumped off the cliff. That's stupid. Souls, I guess. Screw you. Screw you too. Whoever picks up that blood stain will have a laugh. Shut up. I got my humanity back and the 20,000 souls. That would be kind of shitty if I had lost those. Not to go back, you just curl up like a ball again. And the curl will just bring you back to Lordran. So just go down. Don't do anything stupid, don't drop from a great height and die because that will just bring you right back to the bloody <coughs> asylum. Anyway, here we are. Oh, it's outlet, as always. Yeah, I want to buy a fire orb from you actually. And modify my much flame. There we go. Goodbye. It's still not high enough for what uh, because you wanted that plus eight, but uh, no, plus ten. My bad. And I cannot level up yet. And I forgot something. Tool magic. Take the fire. A 
that's it. On to the depths. Um, yeah, over there, that's the quickest road. Route. Route. Whatever. show you uh, how strong uh, a little upgrade on the Paramancer Flame is. Just look at this. That is wrong. Ah. Screw it. I'll try it on that guy. thing it's <laughs> I'm going to need them I should have upgraded it before I went into the th uh, against the stray demon but mm, I knew I could finish it off with just a sword I mean, I've done so before with a bloody dagger so yeah admittedly the dagger was better upgraded This will be slightly better for uh, the next boss up ahead. <laughs> uh, sorry, I was too late in uh, muting my microphone there, it came out of nowhere. <laughs> I really hate it if that happens. First thing we're going to kill is this guy. He's not very strong. Especially when you get great soul arrows. Just... Just walk around like this and he will never hit you. Even like that, it's just... Yeah, it's... A bit too easy. Pick up the demon tie tonight and just go back and rest. He will not respawn. 
Uh, you can use Demon Titanite uh, to reinforce specific boss weapons. Uh, boss weapons that require a demon soul to be in fact. And as you can see, he was about worth about 2,000 souls. You can try to uh, go in, um, in melee, but he hits pretty hard. I suggest against that. But if you want to do a melee uh, on him, go right ahead, I'm not going to stop you. to hurt you much. Always be careful not part if you step in the wrong way, you're going to drop, you're going to die. Nobody likes dying. Pretty sure that it's someone's sexual fetish, but that's neither here nor there. take the one by one, it's already hard enough I'm trying to dodge the Hydras. Uh, I want this a lightning attack, but it's more water. stupid, my sword got stuck on the ground. Guess yeah, everyone was right about the high ground. He still didn't. There we go. Keep him between you and the Hydra, and maybe the Hydra actually kills him for you. Sadly, I don't have that luck now. Ah. Uh. How did that stop, miss? Ah, uh, went 
straight to my block there. Sunny D, save me. I hate it when my stabs miss like that. Sip. And this should be the last one I need. going to be interesting because the Hydra is a very dangerous opponent if you don't know what you're doing. That's why I took the specific, that specific ring. Stay here until that thing goes past and then you start running and hold your shield up all the way. Zigzag a little bit, keep the trees as cover and get into the water. See, he has a lot of heads. A lot of heads. Every head has a specific number of health points. I missed both there, somehow. If you kill all the heads, um, he dies, or you can attack his body. Be very careful that you do not drop off on the edge.
head. Let us seem to want to do his dive thing. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. Kill and a dust crown ring. The dust crown ring doubles your uh, available spells to use, uh, and it also kills off your um, your health. Your health gets halved. You do not want that. No way. Next part. That's 10,000 souls. There's still more. Now you can see there's nothing. But that's okay because this requires again reloading the area. You can do that in two ways. One, die. Two, go to a completely different area. Or three, just do this. Guess what I'm doing. Back to the heater shield because... This guy isn't too hard. He's just like any other And let's face it, with the upgrade of power match and flame, he's a pushover. Do not attack further, because then you will attack uh, Dusk. You do not want to kill Dusk. So, it is thou who rescued me, most gracious. I am Dusk. I come up, so. My, my, would this be? Yeah, sure. By dusk. Dusk is also a character uh, useful later. And this is actually part of the DLC if you have just Dark Souls, uh, so not the Prepared Die Edition, or if you have no DLC uh, on Four Years of the Abyss, you will not have this part. This is part of the uh, DLC. That said, the DLC is amazing. Uh, it's, it's very rare for me to say that, that DLC is great. Um, but the DLC gives me the best fights in the game. I am Dusk, but it is not I shall fight. Yeah. Proper bow, very useful. No, it isn't, but it's very fun to use. Very useful spell, take it. Very useful spell, take it. These three are kind of meh. I mean, you can repair at bonfires. I guess it might, in the very long run, pay for itself, but. This is also very useful, take it. If thou art in me, I have made the. I will replace bow with proper bow. Because you want to have a proper bow, don't you? Again, quit game. I 
just keep running around here again. Back to the cave. And over there you can now see that there is an item. And it has one of the items I'm after, and one of the items you will use for almost the entire run. The crown of dusk and antiquated things. The crown of dusk is this thing, as you can see the defense of it on, on it are poor. But it raises uh, everything to do with magic. Your magic resistance goes down though, uh, but your magic damage goes up. Same for, and it also counts for pyromancy, because pyromancy is classified as a kind of magic. In addition, it looks like your head has wings. Combine that with um, the Ivor Catalyst. I mean, once your intelligence is high enough that the Sorcerer's Catalyst goes past the Ivor Catalyst, you can ditch it. But until then, for 1000 souls, it is pretty amazing. I was uh, kind of wondering what should I do first, the Hydra or uh, the Stray Demon, and decided to go with the Stray Demon first. But you can't really do either of them in any order, it doesn't matter that much. Oh yeah, of course, I already have the Crash Shield, or Grass Crash Shield, my bad. get the red tear stone ring but I will not use it um, in this run. Red tear stone builds are very well yeah they're kind of advanced. And I will want to uh, make anyone uh, torture themselves by saying hey you should get the red tear stone ring uh, it's uh, best in slot. Because technically it is, if uh, you have the knowledge to use it, and have the knowledge of the game. And consider this is a tutorial, I do not expect people to have that. It's just a lot that I don't even use it that much because, well, pain in the ass. Yeah, six fire orbs should do it. Just thinking, should I or should I not? But six fire orbs would be enough. Let's 
That's exactly enough to get the uh, next upgrade. Putting me to plus six. And a Titan and Shard, not bad. Why not go to. Uh, I have two Black Knight Swords. There we go. I just ditched all my doubles because I don't need them. I have to upgrade my power much to plus six. And then head into the depths, which is... A lot of people hate the depths. And I completely understand. I just don't think it's the worst area of the game, but... I have th two contenders for worst area of the game. The first is actually Blighttown. Uh, but that is... Less so due to the um, area itself than having bad memories of the place. Uh, when the PlayStation or Xbox just couldn't handle the frames, the strange thing where the frames per second just dipped into the single digits. Oh, see, see, as always. Trust me, that was really awful. It already has quote unquote platforming. I wouldn't call it platforming, but what Dark Souls has for platforming, I guess. Uh, but if you have single digit frames per second, your life's going to suck. Get the right ring again? No, I did not. Yep. Come over here, buddy. The depths is just a sewer level, but a very annoying enemy in the middle. And that's it. Purchase... I'll take one more of those. start stocking up on poison arrows. I will not use poison arrows much, but I will use them for one specific area. And I admit it is probably uh, kind of cheap, but considering the um, sheer amount of weird enemies you face. Fuck it. Last video, I already did quite a bit of this. I showed, uh, I killed both butchers, killed some dogs. Yep, I was waiting for you. Yeah, I'm not going to bother pillaging that. Yeah, keep swinging like that. 
there's two ways to, con to uh, continue. One is going over here, and the other is actually the better route, or route, whatever. Oh, there's another one. I thought I killed you all, because I didn't. Okay, well, for the dog. How did he survive that stab? Every other dog died in one stab. Or do I misremember? This dog doesn't respawn, thank goodness. This is where I got the ember from. Roll through the crates. Get down. You will meet a giant rat. And no turtles to go with it. He is very easy because he cannot attack you if you're up here. Isn't that nice? Get this, the spider shield. It is inferior to the eater shield in almost every way. But it does one thing that the eater shield does not. Uh, in Light Town. There are enemies that have a blowpipe. They just shoot little darts at you. Um, the damage is almost negligible, but it causes toxic buildup. Toxic will drain your health dry in seconds. It doesn't matter if you have a shield, um, the toxic buildup goes right through. The shield, however, blocks all of that. And this is a pretty dangerous spot. And that's over here. That's the reason. Not sure. Make sure to kill that thing first before you engage him. Definitely killed a guy, by the way. Oh dear, that's bad. No. Because he will uh, stay up here. And uh, what you'll see down below, that's the boss arena. He will stay up here and shoot uh, magic at you. And while he does that, he also buffs the boss. The boss is already pretty hard hitting. Not hard, but hard hitting. And that will just ruin your day. <coughs> anyway, go up here. This is actually going back instead of going onwards, but you'd actually want to go back here. Because of all the souls and treasures lying around. Yeah, this is the place where uh, you drop down the giant rat. There's still more to be found here.
great axe. It's not really useful, by the way, uh, for a specific build, but... Over here is... You can open this with, um... The master key, but the sewer chamber key which you pick up in the rat room is leading to this. Light the bonfire. I'm not going to rest at it though. Not yet. Yeah. You see all those slimes? Those are really weak to fire, but very resistant to anything else. You go up here. That is the, uh, where you enter the depths. Up there. Up on that ledge was the butcher, and in there was Laurentius from the last video. Um, just to give you guys, um, love to see how it goes. Anyway, uh, up there, not sure if I can hit it, but I might, might have to try. Nope, dangerous. soldier. Now I'm going to uh, As for play magic, uh, it still does quite some damage to them. damage that deals compared to this or this they have pretty crappy um, payouts to put it that way I'm not going to rush your set though That means I need to recall all the bloody rats, and I'd rather not. Is that a door? Yeah, you can go down here, but there's not much use. I mean, yeah, that will drop you right into Basilisk Zone, and we're not going into Basilisk Zone just yet. Those Basilisk suck. They're not exactly dangerous, dangerous, more extremely annoying. You cannot jump that gap, by the way, just saying. These are basilisks. That smoke is pretty lethal. It will uh, cause curse build up as you can see. Thankfully my clothing has very good curse resist. Uh, if you curse me to get filled up, you turn to stone. I do not see any statues here. I know it, that's just Oh, 
Okay. Bye then. There we go. I'm quickly head back. So I can open the door which I want to take. Kinda of stupid of me actually. Ah, they also drop eyes of death. These things are used for one thing and one thing only, and that's a uh, great for me though. Ah look, here is actually a statue. If you kill, curse meter builds up. You turn into this. You will lose half your health. Just gone. Yeah, this is a fake text. Ah, uh, you need to use a purging stone to get your health back. This is actually the only way to get further. It's really stupid because it's so dark. Keep moving left. Hold left. If you go into that hole, you die. Now you're back here. Now let's show what else is up in Bass's land because there's still some treasure in there. Basilisks are not particularly smart compared to some other enemies. And they're very weak. And if you want to uh, ascend in the Grave Lord uh, Covenant, it is very useful. Ring of the Evil Eye. You kill something, you get some health back. Not too useful, but there are some parts where you actually want to use it to save on Estus, because you have 
a lot of enemies that are relatively tiny or weak. But they chew through your health. That's, then it's actually a really good ring. This is really stupid. Run and jump. Because of that. I mean, it's not even that big. I mean, you can. There is literally a little ledge you can sh sh scoot over on, but nope. The chosen of that is an idiot, so they don't do that. Yep, poor guy. You can actually even find statues of yourself if you're cursed, which is kind of interesting to see. Sometimes someone is uh, a statue in here. That stuff is just decoration. Destroy as you see, you can, as you see fit. And now time to do something risky. Well, it's not really that risky. <coughs> this is the first uh, invasion in the game. That is part of the game itself and not another player. There's actually a story tied to him as well, which is kind of interesting. Various things. Uh, what well, I'm going to level up. There we go. Because there's not much else I can take until for a while now. And leveling a touch is good. Reverse Halloween. And kindle this bonfire. If not f for now, uh, then for later playthroughs, because uh, while in new game this isn't too difficult, in new game plus it will be definitely a lot harder. Okay, ignore them. Just keep going down. Go over here. farm those things off camera. I have to get some uh, There we go. Kill the rats. There's still one other rat remaining. Easy to kill though. Around here you will get invaded. There's the basilisk. It usually comes around the time when you get over here and aggro the basilisk. Make sure to get the basilisk first. And here we have Nightkirk. He is very easy to backstab because he is fat rolling. He is very easy to backstab. I'm actually kind of embarrassed that I get hit by him. Be careful because he can cause bleed. Sip your sunny D. He gives a, a humanity for your efforts and about 5,000 souls. Even offline, he will spawn. As long as you're human. If you're not human, he will not spawn. 
if you kill the boss, he will not spawn anymore. And he will only spawn once until you kill him. You can buy some stuff from him. Um, standard arrows... If you kill specific bosses, he has their armor for sale. They're usually not as good as some of the other armor. Uh, but they're part of fashion souls, and fashion souls is a big thing. Crystal weaponry. Really powerful, uh, as you can see from the damage. Just compare this thing to uh, mine. Uh, but it can't be repaired. I'll take the Pandemonus box though. Maybe I'll take his gold pine resin. Now, onwards. I haven't seen any summon sign yet. Not sure if that's good or bad. Nope. Normally, the caster is up on that part, so be careful. I do see some summon signs, but they are log track and Solaire, respectively. Very, very honest. They are not very smart in this fight. The entire fight is pretty much a bull, uh, yeah, bull fight, and they do not know how to get out of the way. Here's log tracks. Heavy crossbow and a crossbow bolt, which is man. I'll take Solaire, even though he will only make the fight more difficult for me. And yes, I know, that's very ironic. Come on, Solaire. And now to show why this specific fight is usually called the Vagina Dragon. <laughs> and it's not because he's easy. It's a little alligator. That is not a little alligator. Yeah. That is why it looks like a giant vagina with teeth. The Gaping Dragon has a really interesting lore behind him, actually. First my Pyromancy. Make sure not to get caught in his dash. You go to jump. Jumps, keep moving. You can also cut his tail off, but I'm not going to do that. As I said, he is really easy. <laughs> I also got a satellite medal because Solar survived. That's the only reason why I took him along. I mean, I got hit, and it was completely my own fault. So, yeah. <coughs> he is not very hard. This is where one of the characters you can choose at the start dies. Classes, I should say. Praise the sun, yes. And that is it for this run. Light Town is a little bit more dangerous, and I will definitely uh, need more pyromancy for that. So I'll go back and get some extra pyromancies. And 
once I did that, I will cut the video. And I might uh, see if I can help uh, one or two people out off screen. Because let's face it, it's easy. It's free souls. It's free humanity. Also, what? Quick run. I might get lucky on that.